Enjoy. So I just came back and I never expected to see this. Uh, I just got back from working on some projects, some school stuff, and I see that, well, Microsoft has announced what their new console will look like. Console will look like. And what its name is. It's called Xbox Series X, and it looks like a PC, probably about the size of maybe a mini ITX case. And it's vertical. The controller looks like an Elite controller. And that's all we know. Okay, I, I love, like, obviously when you buy a console, you buy it to play the games, but I've always, for some reason, been really into the hardware part of it. I find that really fascinating. And seeing that design was, it was, it was breathtaking. I know I'm going to sound like, like a cringy, Ke like Keanu Reeves meme, but for real, I was just stunned. And I know it's just a console, but like, I never expected at the Game Awards, and I don't even watch the Game Awards live, and I didn't watch it this time just because I didn't expect anything interesting, or at least, well, I knew it was going to be cool and there's going to be stuff, but I didn't think that I should watch it because I didn't think there was going to be anything that, like, like fit my fancy, but, uh, yeah, new Xbox. Um, yeah, okay, that does fit my fancy. So what do we know about it? Well, uh, good question. Uh, we currently don't know the price. We don't know if there's going to be another console. In fact, actually, I should probably pull up the Game Awards because it's still going on right now. And they might even show off, like, another version of the Series X because it's called Series X. So if there's a series and there must be another version, like the stream version, those rumors, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. And I'm as hyped as I can get this as a 15-year-old. And, uh, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped, if you couldn't tell. I know it doesn't sound like I'm hyped, but... Uh, it, it kind of hasn't really processed in my brain that that's what the new Xbox looks like. But when I did see it, <laughs> I was legitimately, like, sweating a little bit. And I was, like, shaking a little bit. Because it's, like, I've been... Because I've been thinking about what it's going to look like for many years, actually. Ever since, really, the One X was revealed, I've been like, okay, so that's what that looks like. So what does the next one look like? And it's always been, like... And my thoughts have always really gone to that, oh, it's probably just going to look like uh, the Xbox One, maybe just slightly redesigned or something like that. But no, no, it's um, it's a different, completely different form factor. And I'm okay with that. As long as it, if it offers better, if it offers better, if it, if it offers like better, if it offers better thermal performance, then that would be nice. And if it, honestly, if the design just looks cool, that's, that's fine with me. Now, you're also probably wondering, well, was there any game shown off for it? Well, actually, yeah, there was one game shown off for it so far, and it's called Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. I might have just butchered the hell of that name, I just realized, but I've never heard of the series, but damn, those graphics. And with the money that you guys have so graciously provided me with through ad revenue, I might buy the Series X and probably get that game with it too, because, well, it, it looks really good. I'm not going to lie. My main question, though, is how will this hold up to the Nintendo Switch Pro, if that comes out, and the PlayStation 5, which we still don't know what the PS5 looks like. This generation, I'm not going to lie to you, I know this has probably been repeated a thousand times, but I feel like, and everyone's been saying this, the PS5 and the Series X are probably going to be very, very similar in performance. Like almost indistinguishable, I'll be honest. I, I, th I think that's probably what they're going to do. And if that's the case, then it's going to come down to the games for sure. And currently, both sides are... They both offer different things. On Microsoft sides, they got Xbox Game Pass, which is a great service where you can get, for a pretty good price, a whole bunch of games. Like, per month, you pay... You guys know what Game Pass is. It's, it's excellent. It's a really good service. And on Sony's side, they just came off of a they just won last generation, mostly through exclusives. So they had that going for them. They have a whole bunch of first party IPs and first party developers who are gonna work with them and at least I'm assuming and are probably going to help that to shoot the PS5 really into orbit. It's gonna be interesting though. Like so Microsoft has one exclusive so far. Um we know that actually no, nothing that we do know that Halo Infinite 
I believe it's called. Yeah, Halo Infinite is also coming, so that's two. But Sony also just announced Godfall, I believe it's called. So that's already one exclusive for a console. We don't even know what it looks like or what the price is. But yeah, it's going to really come down to games. And if Microsoft can land that first party, then in reality, they really have a good shot at winning this next generation. If Microsoft has Game Pass, if they have a whole bunch of good IPs, and if they price it right, <laughs> that's going to be very important. Maybe this will be the reincarnation of the 360. <laughs> but then again, Sony's definitely not going to just lay down and take it like it is. They're probably going to really combat Xbox very well. Personally, as like I said, an Xbox user for my entire life, um, my family entered a TELUS competition, which is a Canadian IP, Canadian, Canadian internet service provider. And we won an Xbox 360 with a Kinect. And ever since I've just been so into Xbox, I've never owned a PS4. So I'm leaning towards Series X this time, but it really is gonna depend on how they, on how they handle E3. Because let's be honest, E3 is going to be where they're going to show off a lot. Because I'm hoping for a lot of exclusives. A revealed price, which is definitely happening. And a more information, just like specs and like, you know, comparing it to the PS5. But anyway, those are just my first impressions of Xbox Series X. And if you do want to see more videos about Series X, then feel free to subscribe. But if you don't, well, then thank you for sticking around for this long, I guess. What do you think of Xbox Series X and are you going to get it over maybe a Switch Pro or a PS5? Let me know in the comments. I'm also going to be holding an epic gift card giveaway um, soon. So yeah, if you really want to subscribe for that, then there you go. You can do that too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and as always, see you.